with golden stream Our universe was closed and right Pulling at the scene I want spare Every time we open up our eyes I guess space and time Takes violent things, anger things And makes them kind We are but Let there be light, let there be light, let me be right. The dust of dust, we are the apple of our time. We are here. Always be humble and gentle. Be patient with each other, making allowance for each other's faults because of your love. Make every effort to keep yourselves united in the Spirit, binding yourself together with peace. 
For there is one body and one spirit, just as you have been called to one glorious hope for the future. I want to point out something there to you. It's a, it's a spirit union. See, what he started in the garden was a move of the spirit. And after that amazing story came a terrible divorce where we walked away from the guy who loved us more than anyone could. We stepped away from it and our hearts have been broken and tend towards leaving ever since. And what he's doing today is a picture of what he's doing in the kingdom of God, in the world, in the galaxy. He's bringing things back together. But the heart wants to wander. That spirit, without it, it's like, it's like the oil that goes in the engine of the car. Without the Holy Spirit in there, the movement of marriage, the movement of relationship would cause friction and would eventually seize up. You need that oil of the Spirit to keep that movement, those feelings that you have right now, that commitment that you're making today. Without the Holy Spirit, without being led by the Spirit, we know the statistics. To my beautiful Becca, from the first time I laid eyes on you, I was struck by your beauty. <laughs> really? First sentence, all right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now you are more beautiful and precious to me than I could have ever imagined. I love everything about you. Every, every, how you sway in your chair when we're eating meal, a meal together, or how you reach over to open my car door after I open yours. You bless me daily with your care, support, and encouragement. You push me to be my very best because I know that's what you see in me even when I don't. You support me in every decision I make and I know you will always be there for me no matter what. Your selflessness towards me never goes unnoticed. I am always blown away by how much you bless and care for others around you. I was proud to call you my girlfriend then my fiance, and now my wife. Becca, I promise to give you my everything, to protect you, care for you, and love you for the rest of, to the best of my ability. I promise to celebrate with you in the good times, as well as comfort you in the bad. I promise to be intentional with our time together, and we'll make sure to find time for our relationship to always be there when you need someone to talk to or lean on. I promise to be your biggest fan, your strongest supporter, and best friend. I will always put Christ first in our relationship, to love Him and follow Him in my daily life so that I am able to love and lead you in the same way. On this day, I fully commit myself to you and only you. I promise to love you forever. John, today I promise my love and devotion to you, to be your lifelong buddy. I may not know what that will look like for the rest of my life, but I do know for sure I will never leave you. I refuse to give up on you, to disrespect you, or make you feel less in our home. I promise to push each Costco cart that shocks you <laughs> and not force you to eat my ginger candy. I promise to always build you up to encourage your dreams, and to respect you in all seasons of life. I promise to pray for you always and seek God's will for our life together. You're my dearest friend, my sweetest encourager, and the lover of my whole self. Thank you for loving all of me, for pushing me closer to God, and for guiding me with the gentleness and wisdom you get from His leading in your life. Thank you for being more to me than I ever dreamed of and for waiting so patiently for me to come into your life. I love you forever, John Paul, and will remind you of that for the rest of my life. John and Rebecca, according to your words of commitment one to another, in the presence of these witnesses and by the authority of the Word of God and the State of Oregon, I now pronounce you husband and wife you may now kiss the bride. Farther along, where 
Every knee must bow and tongue confess The Son of God is forever 